Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, it's me and Agatha's Adventure. Hope you guys are having a great day for today. One thing I do want to state, I'm very excited and happy to create this new series that I will be showcasing on my channel. If you guys been, you know, looking at my Twitter feed or just looking at my YouTube channel when I promote or basically promote some of my stuff in a community um, from via the community post, you notice that I just recently got a Xbox 360 and what I'm going to be doing for the past, um, you know, week or, you know, in the future, I'm going to be start making Xbox 360 modding tutorials. So if you guys, you know, enjoy on um, this video please be sure to you know leave a like and all of that fun stuff but for today i'm going to be teaching you guys on how to install xdx menu 1.2 as well as freestyle dash this method does work for rgh systems as well as jtags but with that um you know getting out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on today's prerequisites any of the items like i always have in all my other videos will be in a link in the description down below so first things first you need a of course a modded um xbox 360 i was about to call it a ps3 but you need a modded xbox 360 via whether if it's a jtag or rgh model so if you have like a jasper this will still work as long as your device or basically your system is modded in some shape or form and it can run on sign code basically you can do this um uh, the only exception is if your xbox 360 i believe only has like a flash um disk drive you can't do it but if your thing is modded via a uh, by a chip and you know that sort via um rgh or jtag you're good to go um what you'll be needing is xcx menu 1.2 you're also going to be needing dash launcher version 3.21 as well for um to basically unzip both of these items for today's tutorial you need winwar and winzip i will have that in the link in the description down below as well and last but not least you need a USB stick that is formatted to FAT32. And I'll show you guys on what we need to do via on the PC side of things. But one thing I do want to go ahead and give a really, you know, a special thanks out to this person in particular. He has helped me from start to finish on setting up my system and, you know, helped me even create this video and tutorial for you guys. So without his help, I wouldn't even be making this. So shout out to you, Shadow Bullet, for helping me. But don't forget, if you need any help on this topic or any general topics on my channel, go ahead and join my Discord but with that being said let's go ahead and get started on the pc side of things Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PC side of things. So what you need to do now is just go straight into the link in the description down below. These will be both mega links you could download these files from. What you'll need is the XEX menu version 1.2 as well as Dash Launcher version 3.21. What XEX menu basically is for the um, Xbox 360, I'm just going to go ahead and compare it to Multiman since it's exactly like a file manager. So what xex menu does you can install you know games homebrew um you know check out other partitions via from the xbox 360 file system as well you could use something called xbox 360 neighborhood which is basically like a pro dg for the ps3 and you could connect from your system and see all of your files from there so it's basically kind of like filezilla or like it's from the official sdk for microsoft so it's basically filezilla um for you know developers that you know when people were creating xbox 360 games this is what they were used to you know transfer files over via from actual dev kit hardware but since we have a rgh and jtag we could also hook up xbox 360 neighborhood i will probably make another video about xbox 360 neighborhood since that's not today's focus but that's something you could do within xcx menu same thing with dash launcher is basically just a different dashboard that you could basically launch your games from homebrew um you know basically dump games within from that actual uh you know homebrew program and i'll explain a little bit more about that once we actually are into the program itself but what we need to do now is something with winrar make sure you have that installed as well what we, what we need to do is right click over our files go into extract files go ahead and hit ok and then extract this file into your desktop you want to do the same thing for dash launcher as well just go ahead and right click go into oh let me actually right click over it hold on yep you go ahead and extract the files here just as you did the same with xcx menu and once um these two files are or excuse me these two folders are on your desktop what we're going to do is just go ahead and verify that the contents are in here so 
just go into XCX menu. You could go ahead and drag this out. So it's all in one folder. And what should happen, let me go ahead and back out. How the folder should be formatted is XCX menu 1.2, content 00, zero code. 0800 and this is how it should be formatted via from here now what you want to do if uh the dash launch all you should see is in the dash launch folder itself you should have all of these files in here so once you verify that all of your files in are basically into one location what you want to do now is go ahead and plug in a usb device into your system so i already have mine in and here is my USB device here. What we want to do once you get your folders extracted out and you verify that all your um, basically all the files are in here. We need to verify that our um, USB drive of choice is formatted to FAT32. You can either do this via from the Xbox 360 and have it um, formatted in system settings or you can do it from PC. So that's what we're doing here now. Thing what we need to check for is if we right click on our drive go into properties if your file system states already that it's on fat 32 you're good to go all you got to do is just go ahead and copy um the information to you know its respective location and i'll show you guys on how to do that but let's say if your thing is on ntfs or xfat you basically need to reformat your hard drive and then um transfer the files over since the xbox 360 can't read other file systems natively so what we want to do now if you have any important documents or any you know information you want to keep on your usb drive go ahead and back it up to your pc or maybe another usb drive since i don't really care um of the items on here i'm just going to go ahead with the reformat process but make sure you um back up your stuff because anytime you reformat your usb drive um you'll lose all your data once it switches on um, file system partitions so what we need to do now let's go right click over our usb drive go into format make sure your capacity is the highest that your uh, usb could go of course um if it's on ntfs or xfat that's what i was talking about um just go ahead and make sure your file system is on fat32 allocation unit size it doesn't matter volume label that's just the name of the usb drive i just call mine sony since i used to use this for the ps3 um it doesn't matter for this process of format options just go ahead and make sure that this is check marked and toggled on so make sure you see the little check mark next to quick format and then go ahead and hit start then hit ok once you hit ok it will take a little second for it to do its thing but once it reformats your hard drive you'll get a little notification on windows so there you go right here it says format complete so all i got to do is say hit ok open up back file explorer now what we need to do um, from here, it's just go ahead and hover over the drive. And if you remember earlier, um, I had data on here, but that's why I said once you um, basically reformat or wipe your drive clean. But what we need to do now is another option on our USB drive. We want to go ahead and go into view, go into options, change folder and search options, go into view. And you want to make sure you have show hidden files and folders and drives. So if you don't have this option on, just go ahead and hit apply, hit OK, and then you're done with that part. Now what we need to do is take our dash launch version 3.21 folder and then drag this folder to the root of our USB. So that's how simple it is. And then from here, our XCX menu, all we're going to do is take our content folder, mind you, and just drag it and drop it to our... Um, basically our USB. What this is, is basically XEX menu. And I already did all the file format for you. So it's just a simple drag and drop from your, um, wherever you have the folder from, from your PC. So you don't have to, you know, do anything on the 360. I did basically most of the steps for you. So once that is fully done as well, we're just gonna go ahead and verify that dash launch is here. So you can see that all my files is here. Um, and then as well for content, you can see that I have the all zero folder, code 99900. I'm not gonna read all that, but right here, this actual file itself, this is basically um, XCX menu that we need to install. Once you have all that done, all we gotta do now is just go ahead and go into show hidden icons, go to safely remove um, devices, go ahead and safely eject your USB, plug it into your Xbox 360, and I'll meet you guys there. And I'm gonna show you guys on how to get XCX menu installed. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, you should be back onto your modded Xbox 360. Make sure, of course, your USB is in your Xbox 360 as well. But what we need to do is go ahead and scroll all the way over to settings, hit 
A over system. From here, we wanna go to storage, scroll all the way down where it says USB storage device, go into demos, and you should see XEX menu version 1.2 in here. All you gotta do is hit A, go ahead and hit copy. You wanna go ahead and copy this to your system's hard drive, so go ahead and do that. It will take you know some time, of course. Once it's fully done, XEX menu, what we're gonna do is just run the application. So I'm just waiting for it to do its thing. And then once it's fully installed, all you gotta do is go ahead and press B to back out. Let's go ahead and back out all of this. Go into games, or excuse me, not Xbox Live, my games. And then as you've seen here, you can see that I have two XEX menus. That means one is on my USB drive and then the one we just copied. If I take my USB out, you can see that um, XEX menu has now is just by itself of course if you don't have a modded device xcx menu won't be booting in but this is what xcx menu looks like um here is the general uh, layout from here so i'll just do some quick explaining what we want to do from uh here just to navigate is either you can hit left and right on the actual d-pad if you want to see your games your applications your emulators and stuff like that if you hit um i was about to call it r1 i'm so used to playstation stuff if you hit rb on your controller you can see that if you have any content on your hdd1 basically this is your main hard drive you can see all of your data from here as you've shown here i already have some stuff already on this um xbox but if you go ahead and toggle left and right once again you can see hddx which has your xbox or original xbox compatibility list i'll be covering that in another episode and tutorial on how to install original xbox games so make sure to watch out for that um showcased here since i have an actual dvd or basically a game in this is for the two you can see that i have my system update my media and as well as the default.exe file think of that as the eboot.bin for um you know if you're a ps3 user and you're used to modding that's basically what a default.xexe or xex is it's just a um executable to run stuff but yeah that's generally on how you um basically navigate through um i'm about to call this free dash uh this is how you basically maneuver through xcx menu what i'm going to do now is plug in back my usb and then i'm going to show you guys on how to get dash launch version 3.19 set up onto your device as well with the usb stick so let me go ahead and plug my stuff back in all right so it took some time to plug it back in but now my stuff is in as showcased here you can see that i have usb zero if i toggle left to right and this is where you can see that i already have a dash launch version 3.21 what we need to do is hit y over that folder hit a to copy and then where it says copy source uh, usb zero this means that it has successfully basically copied over that folder what we need to do now is toggle over to acd1 go ahead and hit paste I already have um, this destination already existed, so I already had it. But once you just paste, you probably don't have it on your system. But once you have Dawn, or excuse me, dash launch version 3.21, all we're gonna do is go ahead and hit A over that folder, go into installer, run the default.xex file, and then here is dash launch. So this is what dash launch basically looks for like you can see that my system is a corona my um flash is a corona and my type is a glitch 2 corona system it also shows you my firmware or aka the kernel i'm on as well in the right hand corner um this dash launch also shows you um, my cpu temperatures gpu m0 or mobo and also the ed ram some other stuff too as well you could kind of create paths on how to basically you know load some stuff if you want to you know load files via from here if i go into network if you're planning on going online you could you know enable some online stuff like live block live strong uh some other stuff like auto fake i'm actually not too sure about all of this stuff if you guys know more about you know the network side of things leave a comment down below in a section since i'm kind of new to this as well but i know this deals with um, xbox live and probably like blocking servers out I accidentally um, toggled out of it. So let me go back into my games just to showcase more of it. 
but at least this will give you kind of a reiteration on how to you know rerun this if you wanted to so all you would have to do is hit rb once again go into hcd1 load up dash launch installer default.xex and then that's how you would basically get back into dash launch um if you have any plugins so if you have any mod menus and stuff like that you'll load them through here and set them up into a certain directory so if i was trying to find a plugin via on my hdd i could load one up from here so this is just an example if i wanted to load up the ninja um private server or basically stealth servers i can i'm not going to do that for right now but yeah essentially with this program you could um also ftp and as well you could do other stuff in terms of like launch games so i'll show you guys on how to do that real quick and then i'll probably um you know end the video but an xex menu um here's how you would launch a game if you have it dumped onto your console i'm just trying to show you so here is a xbox uh, 360 game i'm gonna go ahead and load up i don't know GTA 4 just to show you all you got to do is load up the default.xex file and then as showcased on the screen Grand Theft Auto will start playing so let me turn it down on the television so it won't come over the mic but yeah this is essentially on how to utilize xex menu plus s dash launcher if you guys did enjoy this segment of the video and have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below but with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace